6, oder? If you're still with me, um, I know a few diehards are, maybe a couple of guitar players. The rest of you guys probably went off to like, you know, get a McRib or something, you know, while I was doing that jam. But that's okay, it's understandable. Um, all right, let me pull you out closer. Bring you in just a little bit more, what do you call it, intimate like there. We got a little glare action going here from the old window. Does that help? Not really. Ocean, ocean or whatever. Okay. All right, I'll stand. Now, the deuce tray, otherwise known as the ace deuce trace, one, two, three, is uh, a, it's a, like an old, cool kind of late '60s, early '70s to mid '70s super fly kind of a thing. It um, it makes an X crease in the front. So essentially, there's there's two ways to do it. And there's two different types of them also. Two ways to execute it to get there. You know? And there's also two different ones. There's one like uh, where I add a pinch and one where I don't. So it's kind of like one of them looks like an X. The other one's just a regular deuce tray. So we'll, we'll show you them both. Um, it does work with teardrops. Um, also center crease. Um, a little easier maybe with the center crease, but it's not necessarily hard with the teardrop. You're working basically with this line here, this line, this like little stick on top here. See that little kind of sausage thing right up on top? You know, it looks like a finger. Okay, those two, the parts of the V there, right? Dealing with that. We're also dealing with the front, kind of like going down at a slant. So what I like to think of is, okay, all right, you see this line here? It's kind of going down at this like kind of slanty thing. Just pi picture continuing that line. So you're taking that crease and you're just continuing it, continuing it, continuing it. Okay. Could I get on this side? It would be a little easier for me to do it. All right. What you do is you can do the ace. You could do it either way. But what I'd like to do is I take one of the... Um, these little fingers and I just kind of continue it so if this is it going down here I picture it going further kind of like you're continuing it in a way okay so what you're doing is you're, you're bringing that further so in a way we almost got three ways to do this that's it that's one way to do it what I just did there but uh, I don't usually do it that way but it's, it's actually a darn easy way what you want is you want this line to be straight. Just, you know, it could have a nice little curve to it, but you want it to flow, okay? So you go back and you check it for straightness. You put your finger in there and you could push some out. You could push them back in. Okay, the idea is you want this coming down at an angle, diagonal, okay? So it's like an X and there's the other part of the X, okay? So that's your basic deuce trace. Okay, you could go back and fix it regular pinch on one side. That's just a standard pinch there. So in other words, okay, here's the regular pinch. You don't change the pinch, okay? Only thing you're changing is you're going down here more, 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 more. Okay. That was like that. Alright. A's, deuce, trace it. So you could take this line and you could, you know, 
just kind of smooth it out. You can do what you want, but work with the flow of the hat. It's a kind of a, it's a flow. Artists know that if it has a kind of a, a flow, a good line quality, it looks more pro. You don't want it to be like squeezing and squeezing. And you want it to have a nice, let the, let the hat kind of take you, you know, do its natural thing. All right, the other variation of this is the X crease. It's basically where you just go here and make another pin, make a pinch on that side. Okay, so what you're doing is you're continuing this part of the X also. So you wind up with like a, okay, it's in my life here or something. It's kind of more of an X crease. Light in here stinks. Yeah, let me put a couple more lights on and show it to you. I have gone back to not editing, guys. Um, kind of like enjoying the freedom of not editing is kind of cool. But, uh, okay, here's the deal. You got that pinch. You better continue the X kind of that way, like continue that line so it's across, like an X. One line and two. So by going inside the hat and outside, you can make this line here continue over by making the second crease. It's kind of like an X. I wish you could see, yeah, you could see it now. Show you this one using my pivot method. This is the way I generally do my um, my deuce traces. I do them in a way that's kind of like um, compass. So I'm using my uh, let me see how I do this. Okay, I'm using my center finger as the point of the compass, and I'm using my thumb as the pencil or the, the blade that's cutting or whatever. You know, that's the end of the compass, the point. Okay. And then what I'm doing is I'm finding the center of the hat, just like that. I'm putting the thumb right in the, the curtain, okay? Right in the middle of this thing here. Right in there. Just get it right in there nice and gently. So finger in the center, like a bullseye. Okay, I'm holding the brim. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm actually pivoting. So I'm pivoting the hat itself and leaving my thumb there. So let's see if I could show you this here. So it's kind of like, okay, watch. It's one of those things when you do it slowly, it's kind of hard to do, but when you just do it kind of quickly, it's much easier. All right. Now, what you got to understand is this pinch just went down. It goes up and down. You want to get rid of it. You decide you don't want to wear your ace deuce. You didn't do anything permanent there. You could just get it back easily just by taking that tucked in pinch, this one, pulling it back out. Watch. Okay, it's like a magic trick, right? Okay, regular hat, you know? Did you know that you just push one down and it becomes an ace deuce? That's what it is, essentially. If you just push one down, You'll see it snapped into place, this guy. Down, watch, I'll go slowly now. All right, let's see if I could just mash it down, see what happens. Yeah, there we go. I didn't even try, I just pushed one pinch in. Okay, let's go back, neaten it up. No, that's fine, it's fine. So, that's another way is the pinch, grabbing it by the top, put it up and down, up and down. Usually after you've deuced it once or twice or a few times, it's easy for it to snap into position uh, easier. Um, some people will even do the back. I think that's overkill doing the front and the back. You get this kind of hole. You know, like that. Some people might think that's really good, but maybe it is. I guess it's unique if you're cool enough to pull it off, you know. I personally am not into the back. Easy doocy, I pull it out. 
but uh, it can be done. So you could uh, do the front. Let's show you again. Pull that up. All right, you ready? There we go. Get into position if you want. If it's too deep, just pull it up a little, you know? You actually grab it by that pinch and pull it up or down, depending on where you want it. Push it in. Pull it up just a tiny bit. Get it up if it's too deep. We'll get it up a little bit, huh? Oh, it snapped up. Can't get it up too much if she snaps it back up. Easy doocy. Let's do it the other way now. Right. With the compass. Middle finger in the middle. We'll find the center of the hat. Finger goes right there in the point, and we just pivot it around like that. Probably the easiest way for somebody to do it is to just look at this line. You could do it on either side, look at the line, and just continue it down. Okay, so this line is going down, right? Then it goes up. Well, what if it just kept going down at that same angle? Try to trace it in. Use your finger and just dig it in. But remember, keep it down at the same angle. Don't go up. It's got to go down. Then if you continue it, you'll find you can just push the rest of that in. Just snap it in. Huh? 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 You got it. Okay. Let's try it again. This is the way you guys can do it. Follow this line. Now going down further. I'm making it go down a little further. Down and snap the rest of it. Yeah. Erase the deuce trade. You want to do the back? Do it the opposite way to the other direction. So you have kind of a, you know, what do you call it? Snake chasing its tail, serpent, uh, I don't know what the word is. Uh, symbiotic uh, ace deuce traces. You have like a symmetry going, you know. You don't have too much uh, emptiness on one side, too much weirdness on one side. It's. I mean, have you ever done that? I don't think I've ever done it that way before. Two on the same side, they do kind of like meet, you know, in the same place. So. Okay, so here's the front, he's deuced, right? When you go to the back, you do it again. What happens is the two deuces are meet in the middle there with a pinch. So that's kind of funky because you get a side pinch. Look at that. So let's center that side pinch. All right, we got to give that a name. This this is a uh, I don't know what you'd call this. This looks like that. Uh, wow, some sort of like architecture, like that New Zealand building or something. That I mean Sydney building is the opera building. Uh, Wow, that's pretty cool, okay. But I guess that's why people don't do it. Mm, one side is really funky. The other side is almost untouched, pretty much. Yeah. You can see it's plain. The other side is like that scene in Breaking Bad where they show the dude's skull is half off, you know, his face is off. That's what it's like on this side. It's like a total surprise. Alright. this up. Bam. Alright, sorry about the 30 minute uh, extended space Grateful Dead jam before the lesson. Um, I'll probably trust that you guys know how to just, you know, use fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. When you see me stop doing this and then I start talking, then you know to like, yeah, stop fast forward. Um, I do the same thing sometimes, but it uh, depends how good the guitar playing was. All right, guys. I'm going to play you out, of course, with a little bit more guitar. Not a lot, more, Joe. Just a little. Uh, I've been experimenting with some new uh, fuzzes. New octave fuzz. And all these sounds are coming from my Line 6 M5 effect, which is just a really freaky multi-effects from days gone past. Should I tune? I think I should tune. Um, if anybody has any good show ideas, 
episode ideas, that's something you can, you know, if there's anything that you really wanted to know about, you know, um, unfortunately, I can't really review hats that we don't carry at JJ's, you know, because we don't sell them, I've never touched them, I can't really comment on them unless, you know, I'm familiar with them. Plus, you know, I try to promote hats that JJ's has, too, it's just, you know, where I work, good people, good owner, very nice. The owner of JJ's was at my wedding and stuff, you know. We, we don't see each other that much, but uh, we're close and stuff, and uh, I'm there 25 years, so, you know. She's been taking care of me, and uh, I feel well appreciated. And uh, even though I'm home in quarantine, um, I still know that JJ's is a good place, it's reputable. I've worked at different places before, and there are corners you can always cut. Um, one thing about JJ's is they just don't do it. Uh, they're really, really cool, very trustworthy, open honest, transparent kind of business. Thank you.
Thank you.